Such a little thing Such a little thing But the difference it made was great What's the, the strangest thing you've ever been asked to do on film and you just had to turn down? Well, I don't know if it's strange, but here's the deal. I am a very, very safe sex oriented. I only do safe sex and I'm a safe sex educator. I believe that, yes, there should be porn and there should be condoms in all porn. A lot of people disagree with me because... (laughs) I was going to say, this is probably in the main reason Dr. P's never seen your films. Yeah, I think so. (laughs) I don't have a dick. I don't know what it feels like not to wear a condom, okay? All I know is I'm an actor (laughs) and I'm also an educator and that for me to do unsafe sex in my porn is showing people that it's okay not to wear condoms. That's the way I look at it. Whatever you do in your own time and your own place, I don't really care. But it's me as a filmmaker. I really feel like I have to show you that you have the option to use condoms and it's not the end of the world if you do use a condom. And one day the condom technology will be there, just like the you know penis surgery technology. Yes. And we'll all be happy. Yeah, eventually they'll make something that you'll be able to feel like you're not even wearing it, for sure. Well, right now, it's at the rotary phone phase of the technology. <laughs> uh, I am not a fan. You are not? Really? That's no, just- I do not care for condoms. I remember I got my first AIDS test when I was about 22, and I was terrified. Sure. And the doctor basically so you, said, you never got one again. Yeah, but, but actually um, the only person on the podcast that has a child is Booze. And now I always wear a condom. <laughs> <laughs> Was there tubing involved as well there? 